Okay, so I decided to make a video on how to dye fake fur. I looked at numerous tutorials and they had all told me to make a mixture of acrylic, paint of choice, and water and go ahead and soak the boot or the fake fur in that mixture. And when I woke up this morning, I got this color. These boots were really, really bright white, kind of like my towel. And you can see the difference on how dingy and dark and gray they look, but they didn't achieve a dark, dark gray. So it actually just makes these boots look really dirty. So on one last attempt, I tried doing something a little different, and I actually love the way it turned out. This is the completed boot, and you can kind of see the difference on how it kind of gave a dark appearance, and then underneath, it's still really light, so it almost gives it like a natural look. And I actually really liked how these boots turned out with this new technique that I tried. So I figured I would share in case someone was kind of desperate like I was to fix the boot or even to get a different color. So first off, I would suggest a towel. It doesn't get really dirty like the other tutorials soaking them. I had a complete disaster in my bathtub this morning after letting them dry because the weather is kind of cold so I couldn't put them outside. So what I did is I put a quarter size amount of black acrylic paint in a plastic cup. I filled the plastic cup up about halfway with warm water and I mixed, mixed, mixed. I didn't want any chunks of any of the black paint. And then I took a toddler toothbrush. <clears throat> Instead of taking the toothbrush directly out of the mixture and putting it on the fur, I just like to set it on the towel. And then I go with the fur and I just start brushing and if it looks patchy or if there's spots that were a little darker just kind of go over and it will blend itself out but my trick was to go with the fur I tried going against the fur on the inside of the other boot and it just didn't turn out right so once I tried going with the fur that's how I got that natural look to where when it shakes out and when it poofs up really nice that's how I figured out just to go with the fur, I guess. So I just did it to, I, I personally did it half and half. I did half of the side on the other boot, and then I dried it in the dryer and came back to the other side. Now, if your dryer does not have adjustable temperatures, please, please, please be very careful. Because as far as I've learned, these furry type of materials will kind of bunch up and knot up and melt to where it's irreversible of getting it out. So I put mine on the lowest heat setting and I only left it in for two to three minutes before taking it out, brushing it out, and putting it back in for another two to three minutes and taking it out, brushing it out, and then I just kind of let it air dry. Now if your dryer... Sorry about that, temperamental two-year-old. Now, if your dryer does not have a setting, I would recommend using a blow dryer. But again, be very, very careful that you don't burn or scorch this material. So I'm sorry it's taking so long. I just want to make sure to get the crucial information. Otherwise, I would have stopped brushing and put the video on pause. Another problem with the dryer is when you put this boot in it is going to smear in the dryer so be prepared for a lot of cleaning now see here there's a nice little line you just go in and fill it and now you don't have to make it perfect because to make it look natural no fur is identical so I actually didn't really do too much and after I get done with this tutorial, I'll go back and I'll do the top side. But for now, I just kind of wanted to show you how to get that achieved look. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on pause, throw it in the dryer, and then I will come back. Okay, so I actually lied, and I'm just showing you. My dryer has different settings, high, medium, low, extra low, and air dry. And I actually make sure to put it on extra low and just start. And inside the dryer, it will have gray streaks from the paint. But if you clean it off right away, I've had no problems with it staining the inside of my dryer. It comes off pretty good for me, but I don't let it sit in there. So right after I'm done with these boots, I will take it out and dry it. 
So I'm hoping that my video lets me pause and play again. Otherwise, I'm sorry if my video cuts out. I hope I've helped a little bit to any of you that have been searching around for the same technique as I had. I wish I would have thought of this yesterday with the toothbrush. But I just was in a hurry. I was like, oh, I'm so excited. I get to dye my boots a different color. So I will try to come back, but if I don't, any questions, I will be happy to answer them in the comment section. So I hope you enjoy, and thank you for watching. Okay, so thankfully my video didn't cut out, and it let me play again after pause. So this is just freshly out of the dryer. You can see that it still is kind of wet, and what I needed to do is take a brush. I tried using a dog brush, but it just didn't work. I tried using a comb, but I just didn't get the effects I wanted. So I just used one of these brushes, and then I went ahead and just started brushing. And I brushed with the fur. Again, I didn't go against the fur. So I just brushed, brush, brush. And like I said before, if they're still really wet, you might want to throw them in. I'm sorry, again, this side is going to be actually a lot damper than this side because this is a side I tried in my first video that cut out on me and one hand brushing is just not working out but this is pretty much the final step and now I will probably go ahead and throw it back in the dryer well I have to from this other side but focusing just on this side I would probably throw it back in the dryer for another two minutes to three minutes on a very low setting Otherwise, if you use a blow dryer, make sure you're brushing while you're blow drying on a very low setting and probably on a low temperature if possible. If your blow dryer has like a cool setting on it, that would probably work perfect. But then afterwards, if this was actually in again, I would take it and just shake it out to give it this nice fluffy appearance. So this is how I did it, and I hope it really helped, and I hope you'd enjoyed it. Like I said, I looked all over, and the first tutorial that I tried just did not work. Soaking it in a mixture of acrylic paint and water, it just gave it too light of an appearance. This, I think, is perfect. It almost gives like a wolf appearance to it. Totally not what I'm aiming for for my Halloween costume, but the gray is just perfect. I love them. And again, I hope you'd enjoyed the video. I hope it helps someone. Any questions, I will try to make sure to comment and answer any questions possible. Thank you.